Cafes and bars in central Dunedin where a boil water notice has been imposed had to make a difficult call on whether or not to open today. Some businesses are upset they weren't contacted directly after untreated water was mistakenly let into the city's drinking water system. Thousands of people now have to boil tap water until at least Friday. And some are upset they weren't called directly and had to ring the Dunedin City Council themselves to find out what on earth was going on. Lydia Anderson reports. The Dunedin City Council issued the boil water notice for Central and North Dunedin at 10 o'clock yesterday morning on social media and via email. But for busy cafe workers, checking Facebook, Twitter or emails was the last thing on their minds on an otherwise normal busy day. Nova Cafe's head chef Evan Young says they only found out promptly because a council worker popped in by chance for coffee. He says given their cafe is just across the road from council chambers, he expected better. I kind of thought they would have dealt with it a little bit better, like maybe just walked over here and told us about it, or yeah, definitely called us, like they, it should have been a, a phone call, yeah. Nova was open for business today and Mr Young says like many places they've hooked up their coffee machine to safe tank water. It's not plumbed through the mains anymore so we've just got a massive pot underneath the coffee machine full of water and it's just sucking water out of that so it's all good to go. And yeah and we're making um, arrangements in the kitchens with what, what we can and can't prep at the moment. Another cafe owner who didn't want to be named didn't find out about the boil water notice until yesterday afternoon from one of his customers. He says he had no contact from the council and when he rang its customer service centre for advice was left confused by what he felt was unclear information over whether he could use his coffee machine. Further down Prince's Street, the owner of the daily coffee company Jaren Dixon says he wasn't notified by the council but found out through his own networks quickly and rang the council himself. I was put on a calling list with the council. They rang me back at five o'clock yesterday which meant that um, I jumped into action in regards to filling my tanks of water up and, you know, been able to trade today. Jaren Dixon says he shut up shop yesterday but reopened today. I was quite happy to have the afternoon off, to be honest. <laughs> Look, you know, it's all part of it, really, you know, when just like most things when you're dealing with Ministry of Primary Industries and, um, you know, health and safety regulations, you have to abide by those things. But the owner of the crack bar in the Octagon, Claire Grenfell, who's several doors down from Nova Cafe, had direct contact from the council straight away. We did get a, an in-person phone call, which I was quite impressed with because there was a couple of things that it highlighted. Like, I thought our coffee machine would have been fine, but then, um, obviously, being informed that obviously the coffee machine doesn't boil water, it just holds it at a very hot temperature, therefore we needed to drain our coffee machine um, um, and little things like that. So that was quite good because we could talk through the scenarios of what we could and couldn't do. Some cafes chose not to open today because they couldn't connect their coffee machines to tank water, but Ms Grenfell says the crack and their cafe Thistle next door are open. The coffee machine doesn't work there, but luckily the girls and the guys can run over to the crack and we can make our coffees on our coffee machine here. So we are open as per normal, really. We have to be super careful with the food, um, but it's really handy having the tanker um, in the middle of the octagon to get top up water and obviously we've got pots and pots of water in the kitchen boiling for any any produce or anything like that. So we're just having to be super vigilant. A council spokesman told RNZ News that staff rang a list of business numbers yesterday and it wasn't immediately clear why some were missed. At lunchtime today they began descending on businesses and houses in the affected area to issue them in person with boil water notices. The warning covers the central city from the town belt to the harbour and the suburbs of North Dunedin, Leith Valley, Woodhow and the Warehouse Precinct. In Dunedin for Checkpoint, Lydia Anderson.